Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Bobby Green versus Jared Gordon. Bobby Green, 29 wins, 14 losses, 1 draw. He's 2-3 and three in his last 5 fights. Very good competition though. Minus 285 favorite, 36 years old, 5'10 with a 71 inch reach. Jared Gordon, 19 wins, 6 losses. He's 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. Plus 225 underdog, 34 years old, 5'9 with a 68 inch reach reach three inches in reach for bobby green one inch in height as well for bobby king green i really like bobby green in this one i think i just think the start the stylistically jared gordon's gonna try to be pushing the pressure he's gonna be in his face all the time and that creates bobby green to be able to cut those angles and bobby green to be able to stick and move where bobby green is best at and he was having that one hell of a job when he fought drew dober and then got caught against the cage and it just you know, it's just what happened. Drew Dober has stupid power. And, uh, yeah, I like Bobby Green in this one. I think he picks apart Jared Gordon, maybe finds a finish later in the fight. But I have Bobby Green winning this fight. I do think there's a possibility of Jared Gordon being able to clinch Bobby Green against the cage for a longer period of time. And Bobby Green having a harder time of stopping him being able to do that. But he typically does have good takedown defense. He typically does have good submission defense. So I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue, but it's the control against the cage and like dirty boxing that could win, win Jared Gordon the uh, decision. But I just stylistically how they match up, the thing that comes to my mind and what I see most is Bobby Green sticking and moving for three rounds and possibly finding that um, TKO win. But as always, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Subscribe, like, and comment. You know what it is. Peace.